Here is how to massively improve your photo art and mid-journey renders. Hello my friends, let's get started. This is actually not a photo, it is a mid-journey render, believe it or not. And what we could do here, for example, is to adjust the colors. For that, go down here to adjustments and select HSL. When we have this open, you see here these dots. You can click on one of them and then pick the color you want to change. In this case, the hair color, but also color around the eyes. So then we have a hue slider. The hue is the color. As you can see, we have a saturation slider. This is how strong the color is going to be. So when I push this back, you can see that the green is getting softer, not as in the face, not as candy colored. And luminosity means brightness. So you can use this to also make this darker or brighter if you want to. And with this, you can give the work your completely own touch. But the amazing thing here is every of these adjustment layers has a built-in mask. So you can always go over here to select your brush and you see here right now it is a white rectangle. White means it makes the effect visible and black means it makes the effect invisible. So go up here to choose black as a color and we can already paint on this. I can change the hair color but I can leave the rest the same. Isn't this amazing? Here we have this beautiful gate, but the colors could be more impressive. So go again down here to adjustments and this time we go to selective color. What we can do with this is we have different color channels in here. You can see red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, but also white, neutrals and blacks. Look at the image. What kind of colors do we have? I see here some yellows that we can adjust, set that up as the channel and then use these sliders to move them around and see what kind of expression, what kind of colors can I get from this. So this already looks a lot more interesting, a lot more impressive. Let's go in here again and say we want to play with the reds. So let's do this and then again move these sliders around and you can see we are already getting some pretty impressive stuff. And here you can see I can even make this pink if I want to have a completely different expression for that image or make it even more orange. Also with the black slider down here, you can adjust the intensity and the brightness of that color. So when we turn this on and off, you can already see we have a massive change in our work. Now the gate could need some love too. So let's go here to blue and move these sliders around to see what we get from that. So here we can have a more green blue if you want to. But actually what I want to have here is a more intense blue. Let's go like this, for example, then also go to the science and move those sliders around. And personally, I suggest to you to just wiggle them around to see whatever you're getting from that. So that's already pretty nice. But I want to show you two other adjustments you can use to make this even more impressive. Go down here again to adjustments and select color balance. Now here, instead of color channels, what we have is tone range. Tone range is the brightness of that color or area in the picture. So we have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. You can balance the colors between cyan and red, between magenta and green between yellow and blue. So just wiggle them around and see where this is going. Let's move this up here so you can see a little better how it's changing. You can see that is pretty impressive. That is also very nice. And let's see about this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how this will bring out the blue. And actually this is changing the orange in the background. So I don't want that. Now what I'm doing here is I close this down. I create a second adjustment for my color balance and then I simply move this up. So this gives me the same change as before, but now I'm going to go up here to layer invert. This is going to invert the mask. This means the effect is not applied. You can see here we have now a black area in here. This is not applied to the image. So I select my brush again. I set the brush color to white up here and then I will simply brush this only here 
on the gate. And when I select all of these channels and turn them on and off, you can see we have a massive improvement. I want to show you something more that you can use in here. Let's turn off all of them so that you actually see the effect. Go down here to adjustments again and select a curves adjustment. You might already have seen this. Usually you use it for brightness and darkness. But what I want to suggest to you today is to go down here where you can select the mode and change change from RGB to lab mode. Over here we have different adjustments like master, lightness, A opponent and B opponent. In this case, I want to go into the B opponent. We have a pink line. Now, when I pull this line down, the image gets blue. When I push it up, the image gets orange. I want to have the darker areas which live down here in that area of that square in colder tones and then these values up here which are the brighter values in my image in warmer tones. So I move this down a little bit you can see get some very nice blue down here and then we move this up into the other direction. Now you can switch over to the A opponent. I will click here and here to nail these areas down basically and then move this up a little bit and look at that how amazing this is. This is just with one adjustment. Pretty cool, right? Again, this also has a mask. So if you only want to paint this on certain areas, you absolutely can. Check out these massive improvements we made in minutes and see you tomorrow in my live stream. Thanks for watching. Bye.